The ESI 30 SIP phone allows you to have up to 200 personal contacts added to your phone. You enter them by accessing the menu and then programming names and numbers using the dial pad. It's important to note that any contact that you program directly from the phone does not transfer back up to the ESI web-based dashboard. And when you're in the dashboard, any contacts that you program there or a list that you import into the dashboard does not transfer down to the phone. They're two completely separate lists. So let's go through how you would add a contact to the phone and how you use the contact. So you press your contact key here that I have programmed on a key, which you have to do for a 30 SIP phone, and you can view search or add a new entry. So let's go up to view just so we can see what we have. And I just programmed one name so you can get the idea of how it appears. And that is Amy Bell. So let's exit out of there because you want to go back to the previous menu. And we want to get more than one in there. So let's do new and select and then select name first. And we are going to put in Bob, so you just keep pressing the, the two key so that you can get the appropriate B. It doesn't have to be uppercase. It's just up to you. The next letter is O. Oh, I passed it. O. And then just as a tip, if you press the up arrow, it automatically jumps it to the next field so that you can enter in the next key instead of waiting for it to move on its own. The zero is a space key, or it enters a space. And then we want to put, um, let's say, B. And then E. And there's a particular reason why I am making his name this way, so that I can show you how search works. All right, and then so now I've entered his name. I press select again, then scroll down to number, and the number I want to be, I want it to be 214555. Um, five. And notice I pressed 5 too fast, it's trying to enter in a letter. I didn't give it enough time, so I can press delete down here, or use the arrow to go back over the J that I had put in there. Either way, it would type over and allow me to enter that. And then, and of course that's a fake number, but you get the idea. And then select, and then scroll down. You don't have to choose the account, but you can. So we want it to be part of Matt. And again, press select, and, and scroll down to save. So it saves. And now, if we go back up to view, you have Bob Belt and Amy Bell. And if I want to see information about Bob Belt, I would select that and then I can choose to dial that number, look at the details of the contact. So let's look at details. And that is the number that I programmed. All right, so let's uh, press exit to get back to our list and let's do search. So I press search. So whatever you punch in here from the dial pad, it's going to search anything that matches. So if I put in B and then E and then do select, it's going to come up with both. Why? Because both of them have a BEL or a BE in the name. If I go back and do a search, and I just put in, let's say, 214, because I, I don't really know the name I'm looking for. I just know it starts with 214 and press select. It is going to show both Amy and Bob again because they both have 214 numbers. Of course, you can use that to um, dial. Even if you're on a call and you maybe want to do a uh, conference call, as an example, you can um, 
put the other caller on hold by pressing conference, which is shown in the conference video, and then press your contacts key to go find the contact you're looking for and dial out from there in case that you don't have the number handy.